Hey, Snickers back tonight. And tonight we've got Unity Linux 2010 release candidate one. Add it on the board for a while. I'll scroll it through. Documents, log out, configure your computer, halt, scrape, smart package manager, and Sakura for your terminal. We go down to the menu. And as you can see, I've put the Fox in because you don't actually get much else with it. So I open up the Fox. That was bloody quick, wasn't it? Not much on their page, really. Okay, we're going to go straight to the tube, really, to see if it all works out of the box, which is what you really want, isn't it? So over to the tube. There we go. All works nice and hunky dory, doesn't it, really? Really nice. We'll close them down. That fox works nice. Lovely. Back to the menu, I think, we will go. In a minute. Oh, I'm bored. Anyway, for the same video, you only get audio mixer and tools. You get open box, appearance and system tools, configure computer authorizations, install, blah blah, make live CD. That's the bit I like. Now, Unity Linux is based on Mendriva and PC Linux OS. So it has these little extras that some of the other Debian based stuff doesn't have. So if you want something a bit of a change, you might like this, I think. You might like it, yes, I think you will, will like, might. Let's configure our computer. So wait for it to boot up. A nice little screen comes up there, that's nice, isn't it? So under the hardware, sound, X server, 3D, graphs, all that. Touchpad, set up your scanner, set up your UAPS, all oh, that bit, that's really good. Under network, you can jump all your network, and remove connection, add proxies, etc, etc. We'll go to system, do loads of stuff in here. You've seen this before in PC Linux OS, haven't you? Do you remember? It was there, yeah. And your network, you can share all your local drives, etc, etc, and change all your boot sections. Won't go into too much of that, though. So that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, that's really, really nice. Now, I've done Unity Linux before, and it wasn't so good last time, but this time they seem to have ironed out some bugs that they seem to have had. So we're into their smart package manager. So there, and there is loads and loads of stuff. Uh, I'm not sure a lot of the way it's laid out, but hey, you've got to do stuff like this sometimes. You've got to test it out and see how we go. If you don't tell them, they won't know what to change. This is the whole idea of these release candidates and alphas and betas. If you don't tell them what's happening, they can't change anything to make it better for you. So if you do find a problem when using one of these distros on a live CD or whatever, tell them. Go into the forums or subscribe to them or whatever and tell them what you think. So yeah, there is plenty in the repos, by the way. Enormous, enormous amounts. Look at that. ACMs there. Look. Loads of under multimedia. Shop well. Shop oh, yeah, I don't remember what shop there is now. I'll think about that one. Games, super taxes in there. I don't think I've updated this actually. I should have done that before I done the video, shouldn't I? Silly me. Anyway, apart from all that, loads and loads and loads of stuff to install. So although it comes as a base package, it is just a base package. You just get the bare minimal. You just install what you want. And oh, I do like this sort of system. Others may not, and you may not, or you might. But if you're going to keep a system going, you know, no worries. So I've put and record my desktop into the search down. And it's there. You get the basic CLI and you get the GTK version. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on there. And it says, oh, this is what's going to happen if you install it. You click OK again. And then you go up to here, the little wheels, or the cogs, we call them. It comes up one more time. You click OK. It starts installing. And that was bleeding quick, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five. And we're getting on the way to going. Look at that. Updating my cache. Uh, I've not edited this video or audio at all actually, to be really honest with you. It was really, really nice and quick to use, unlike the last one, which was a bit of a pain at the posterior. For bits and bobs, if you know what I mean. But hey, they seem to have sorted it all out. No worries. So, what can I do? We'll go down here, send a video, record my desktops there. And if you want to record your desktop, you're going to have to have it. Although I use other programs as well, I've got about five or six on the go. But you can see, all looks nice and hunky dory there on the screen. Lovely. See what ever. Oh, what else can Unity Linux give us? Well, this is where we're stuck with Unity. It wants to give it as a small system, but you're stuck with nothing, basically, to start with. And sometimes there's nothing there that you want to download. So, I don't know. NetSurf comes with it. It's like a little standard browser. But hey, it's quite limited, and it doesn't like certain sites. It crashed a couple of times. Now, if you right-click the desktop, you get this. Now, this shouldn't actually be here, because these programs are not actually installed. Well, I know Firefox is, because I installed it myself. But Opera isn't, is it? No. So somebody, along the line, has forgot to take these out, haven't they? That wasn't very good, was it? You should have had a better look at that, really. But 
Okay, these things are meant to try us, and it is a release candidate. So hopefully, if somebody will see this video, I will put something on the forums or mail them and tell them. I mean, Open Office is not in the system, is it? But they've left all this here. Not good whatsoever at all. No, I'm saying no. Don't like. It. Okay. Oh, and the system got open office. No, no, shouldn't be there either. Most of that. I don't know. Somebody fell up there or was drunk one night and thought, I'll just leave it, I'll do it tomorrow, and totally forgot about what he was supposed to be doing. Mm. Anyway, it is really nice to use, and I hope they sort these little problems out, but hey, can't be helped sometimes, can it? Can't be helped. That's what's released, candidate. Sneaky Linux out.